Good afternoon, Dr. Lindsay. How are you today? Good. I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We were supposed to have a bright, 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 sunny day. I know you're only about an hour and 15 minutes from me up here in the North Woods. Um, but I don't know. The weatherman was wrong and it surprised us. It's a little bit chilly and a little bit overcast here today. So. Great day to have a meeting to talk about health, right? <laughs> that is for sure, for sure. Well, I want to just introduce our audience to Dr. Lindsay Say. She is uh, one of our SHAPE practitioners. She is a naturopathic doctor and she practices in Iron River, Michigan. And, um, you know, I've I've been interviewing different shape practitioners, just, um, you know, hearing different perspectives of how they use shape in their practice. And uh, the reason that I am interviewing you and ask you to, you know, if you were willing to, to meet with me and do this is because you have a radio show and yes. you do, um, you do this every Wednesday and it's called um, Telephone Time and it's out of... Iron River, Michigan, and it's yep. uh, channel 99.1, right? Yeah, yeah, um, WIKB. Yeah, WIKB. And if folks aren't local, they can just go to WIKB.B.com. WIKB. I got to yes. make sure I get yes. that right. Dot com. And so they could watch. They could watch it live. Yes, and um, it's wellness. It's called Wellness Wednesday with Dr. On telephone time. Okay, well that's great. And you recently just, you know, took on the big elephant in our world um, with the GLP-1 semiglutide, and um, a lot of people know it as Ozimbic or Wagovi. And you you talked about it, and you talked about why you have a problem with it. And yes. you talked about what you do instead. You use our shape program. And, um, you know, for those that, you know, are tuning in um, on our website, shapereclaim.com, we have a whole segment that shape is a better choice. We would much prefer people try something natural before they resort to these drugs. And our fear is that. Time is going to go by and we are going to have the biggest fallout, mm -hmm. terrible well, health yes. drama and from it. My concern is nobody's talking about the side effects. Like right. they, they're just like, oh, I can lose weight quickly. But if they truly had informed consent and knew the risks and what was actually going on in their body, they'd probably right. be like, actually, I think I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to try something else. Absolutely. You know, they do. They, I don't, I don't know. I've never seen the paperwork that comes with the injections, but um, I do know that on Ozimbic and Wachovia's website, they they will list what the side effects are. And in fact, we've got some articles on our website, and we're citing it. I mean, we're not we're not saying these negative side effects. We're not making up stuff. We're we're reporting what the you know, pharmaceutical companies are reporting about this. Yeah. And, you know, Dr. Lindsay, I, I have a lot of sympathy and empathy for the folks that feel so desperate that they feel they have no other option. And that makes me very, very sad. It makes me sad that a lot in the medical field are encouraging their patients to try these injections. I don't, I don't like that. Right. I've even heard from some of our practitioners that, oh no, you don't, you don't need to change how you're eating. Just do the injections. Well, that is the craziest thing I've ever right. heard. Well, and when people say they've tried everything and nothing has worked, to right. me, that's always a little bit of a red flag because truly we haven't tried everything. Um, right. So much out there and. I always look at any symptoms or what a person is experiencing as the body's way of communicating that something isn't right or something needs help or support. And if the body is being resistant to weight loss, so you've tried everything and your body is not losing the weight, there's something that needs to be dug deeper to get Sorry. to a root cause resolution than to just perpetuate a 
possible disease process that's already started or to um, have the body, the biggest thing is have the body in a worse state metabolically from when you started taking the drug. So you, when if you finish taking the drug, eventually, like you, if you're using it for weight loss, you're not going to take it forever. Or if you are, you're going to be in a very bad place. But when you're done, your body is not better off. What no. I want to do is to help patients and why shape is so powerful and a holistic approach is so helpful is that you're getting to the underlying cause. And then when you work through a program and make lifestyle changes, your body has healed. It's better off than when it started, not worse. You haven't lost potentially 30% of your muscle mass. You haven't mm -hmm. paralyzed your vagus nerve. You haven't shut down your, your ability to absorb nutrients. You haven't starved yourself for three months. So now when you do eat, you're just going to pack it all back on. That's right. Yeah. You know, we teach all the time, you know, shape is all about getting to the underlying root cause. We heal people from the inside out and weight loss just happens to be a wonderful side effect. As, yes. as Dr. Todd has always said, if, if, um, if weight loss were just a metabolic issue, we would have fixed it a long time ago. We, be we believe it's a brain issue. And yes. how many people have tried everything underneath the sun? They certainly haven't tried our program because you know we have really, really great success. You're, you're a perfect example of one of hundreds and hundreds of practitioners across our country uh, that are using our product and program. You know, statistically, they're saying that 73.1% of Americans are overweight or obese. Right. And they're overweight or obese because they've got an underlying inflammatory problem. They're just not obese just because they're overweight right. just because their right. body is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Well, an important part to that shape addresses, which I think is so key, is, okay, all of these individuals on... Um, the semi-glutides, okay, so they're dropping this weight fast. So we have not only the concern of the loss of muscle mass, paralyzing the vagus nerve, which the vagus nerve is responsible for so much in our body, not just our GI system, but right. one of the safest places to store excess hormones, toxins, emotions is in our fat cells. Absolutely. So when we are starting to have the positive side effect of doing it holistically and we're breaking down those fat cells, we better make sure we're supporting the organs and systems involved in elimination and making Absolutely. sure that the, the detoxification, the liver, all of those things are supported so that all those toxins that are being released from those fat cells aren't just repositioned. So all of these individuals on this semi-glutide, when they're dropping this massive weight, where are all of those toxins and hormones and emotions and all that going? What is, what, how is the body processing that? And is it just repositioning? And then when you stop, you not only put on back all the weight, but what, where did all of those, those, um, those toxins go? Was that addressed right. in the body? And that's a huge concern too. That still nobody's there. talking about. Still there, still there causing problems. Right. And yeah. as soon as they you know, not everybody can stay on these injections very long. I just recently read that three months is approximately the most that people can stay on it when they're trying to lose weight. And, right. you know, because they're dealing with some of these negative side effects, you know, pe people don't really understand. I mean, we naturally have GLP-1 in our body. It's a hormone in our body that God put in our body. And it was put there with a sole purpose of working during the digestive system. So, I mean, digestive process, I apologize. Um, from the moment we, we start eating food, for it to go through our entire digestive system and for us to poop it out or, you know, pee it out or whatever we're going to do to get rid of this, right? Um, GLP works in that digestive time frame. And then when the food is out and it's all done, then GLP just kind of, you know, just kind of settles down and it coasts in and, and it just stays dormant until more food comes in. And then it says, oh, I got a job to do. And it starts doing its job. The thing with the injections is they're injecting this, this healing monster yeah. venom. Yes, that, which is what that is originated does, from. Right, that does... Yeah. Does it work at the brain center and does it shut down people's desire to eat? It does. But you know exactly what, what it's doing. Extent, to the what extent. 
at what expense is it? At is what it expense? And so one of uh, a patient that I had actually last month, um, I was trying to figure out these symptoms she was experiencing. And unfortunately, she wasn't being totally honest um, and didn't inform me that she was on a semi-glutide. And so I was very um, upset and worried because there were all these symptoms, symptoms like uh, rapid, very rapid heart rate, um, concerningly rapid heart rate with low blood pressure, and then also um, fainting spells, um, feeling very weak and passing out, and then um, a seizure-like activity with the passing out, and then one episode of the seizure and passing out that was so intense that caused an intense head trauma. And I'm sitting here like, what am I missing? What's going on? And she, at the last episode of passing out was so severe, it scared her. And she decided to tell me that she was in fact on a semi-glutide. And this, this patient cow. has a history already of gastroparesis, which is just a fancy word for your gut shuts down. So that's a side effect of, of the oh, ozempic diets. And she already had a history of that history of reactive hypoglycemic. So her blood sugar already drops. And now she's on a drug that lowers your blood sugar <laughs> and already has a history of low, um, blood pressure. And she, what blows my mind is that she went to all these specialists you know, uh, gastroenterologists, uh, endocrinologists, cardiologists to figure out what all these symptoms were coming from. And I look at her, I'm like, those are all the responsibility of the vagus nerve. You're taking a drug that paralyzes your vagus nerve. All of these symptoms are due to the semi-glutide. And, and her eyes were just like, really? It, and in addition to an increased chance, risk of cancer. And she literally had no idea. Uh, no, the, no, they don't. They don't because they're so desperate. They just, just give me the quick fix. Give me the quick fix. Right. You know, and, and at what expense? The work. Yes, Linda. And then I even had a, a a patient. Now, sometimes we think, you know, when they list these side effects as rare, oh, that won't happen to me. Here I am in Little Iron River, Michigan, and I have a patient come in. She has very strange symptoms on one side, eye bulging, headache on one side, like doesn't seem right. Um, she's coming to me because she does plan on getting off of the semi-glutide, but not right now because she's losing the weight and that is the most important thing to her, even though I tried to educate on it. We go to do the physical assessment. Nobody had even touched her. I palpate that side. Sure enough, a giant nodule. Giant. Wow. And wow. I said, okay, with your symptoms and with you being on a semi-glutide with one of the main side effects, or not main side effects, one of the rare side effects being cancer, especially thyroid cancer, you need to go tomorrow to get this checked out. Like, I don't want to freak you out, but this is emergent. She yes. went within 48 hours she has one of the most aggressive thyroid cancers. Um, young woman in her in her uh, early forties, and here she is with devastating life. Light, and she had been on uh, the semi-glutide for I think it was like um, four or five months, and and no history of any of that before. And here she is with full blown aggressive thyroid cancer. And Just you then. You go to yourself and you wonder, is it worth it? At what expense are we yeah. are we doing this? You know. Well, the unfortunate thing is, it's it's definitely being pushed and recommended by mainstream medicine, and I think there's a big financial, huge, um, huge financial going on with this when they recommend it and the money that they're making. I get four emails a week, Linda, in my, in my, uh, doctor email from compounding pharmacies and different things saying, yep. offer this for your patients, offer yep. this for your patients, have this, have this. I'm like, what is going on? I know. I know. It's, it's just very, very sad. You know, one of the sickest things I think is that the largest, um, spender on TV ads is big pharma. And I hate that. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one, I think when you hear about this drug and then it says, if you experience any of this, I think to myself, 
Well, who would even want to take this drug if there's a potential that happen gonna... to them? They think right? oh, that's so rare so that crazy. won't happen. It's so crazy. You know, big pharma right now, they're looking at obesity as a disease that we need to manage. And mm -hmm. if they, you know, create these lifetime, you know, customers that are using their drug right now, they're saying this is this is not me just making this up. This is what I'm reading from all the statistics that it's uh, $20,000 is the average um, income that they're going to make from somebody that's going to do, you know, the semaglutide. And, you know, I think to myself, why would Big Pharma want to stop that? They want lifetime customers. We, on the other hand, are all about getting to the underlying root cause and yes. turning around these lifestyle diseases, getting these people off of these drugs that are managing their disease. Yes. And that's what we're doing with Shape. That's what we've been doing. I mean, Shape's 14 years yes. old now. And, you know, yes. we're just absolutely helping people. Well, you always hear me. You always hear me say, like you've heard me say this many times, like I get very excited that the SHAPE program utilizing that helps patients decrease their symptoms, start feeling better, like very fast. I love yeah. that um, because it gets you motivated, gets you going. But what I love even more is that six months, nine months, a year down the road when I follow up with my patients, what I get even more excited about is that they've been able to maintain that because they actually changed their lifestyle. They gained a depth of understanding. They felt empowered with how good their body felt, not restricted. They felt empowered and now they're able to maintain it. So a year later, they still feel great. They don't have the symptoms. They're living a better life with Absolutely. more longevity, more vitality. And that's what we want. And I also think that I wish that there was an understanding of what doctor actually means. In Latin, it's docer, which means to teach. It's the doctor's job to teach their patients Absolutely. how to be well and to not need the doctor, not to just have these medications that suppress symptoms and then you end up with a slew of other ones over here and we're just managing medication. Doctor does not mean manager of medication. It means teacher, to teach Absolutely. you how to be well. Well, you know, in some cultures, they pay their, they pay their healthcare professionals to keep them healthy. And as soon as they get sick, they, they'll pay them. So, right. I mean, well, and I it's mean, in the doctor's interest because they, the doctor gets paid. I believe this is in J Japan or something like that, where the doctor gets paid yearly, like a family mm -hmm. has a doctor and you have so many families yeah. and you get paid yearly. So the do it's in the doctor's best interest to keep you well, because if they only have to see you once a year, mm -hmm. they get the same amount of payment. They just made more money because they kept you well. What a um, what a thought process that would be, hey? Eh? You know the best thing. I mean, one of the best things that that I appreciate you sharing is that six months, nine months, twelve months down the road, your folks are still doing very well. You know, we say all the time, and I and I I think you say this to your patients, and if not, I hope you will in the future. That shape is not meant to be a prison sentence. We say mm -hmm. it all the time. I mean, yes. In our cleanse phase of our program, we're going to be very targeted and very methodical and specific about what we are allowing them to eat based yes. on their total health history, how they're responding to the program, yes. but more importantly, what their urine is showing. And that's that's the uniqueness about our program. Mm -hmm. We can spot starvation markers. And these people that are doing these injections, their mm -hmm. brain is getting a message constantly yes, that starving. they're starving. And that's what that does. That starvation signal right. sends a signal to the brain Right. to increase the set point, our weight, our metabolism is controlled in the area of the brain called the hypothalamus. And the the body doesn't know if that set point is too high. So like if you ideally should weigh, like your body would be best around 150, but you're 250 pounds, that's your set point because that's where you've been forever. The body doesn't know that that's not ideal. That just knows that that's the set point. Correct. So then if you starve it, 
And sure, you may lose some weight, but it's sending a signal, say, hey, we need to increase the set point to protect us from this famine we're going through so right. that the next time we eat, we because need to store status it. status quo. Yeah, we yes. gotta get back to status quo. So we can, so we store it so I can, we can protect you the next time you don't have food. And then you stop the, the restrictive eating and you gain it all back. If not another 10 or 15 pounds, that's not how the brain chemistry works. We have to, yes, decrease the inflammatory foods, do an anti-inflammatory elimination so we can get the body to respond, to get the body to start feeling better. And then we start adding foods back in and very slowly and right. help the body adapt and then change that set point so the brain and the metabolism wants to be at this new set point in a healthy a way. And then we get to a sustainable place of, okay, what does this look like for your lifestyle moving forward and how is it going to be sustainable for you? And that makes sense. It does make sense. Dr. Todd has always said, you know, I mean, I've said it many times and I'll say it again. You know, we've been in healthcare over four decades. So it's, you know, we've got a lot of years on you. So we've been doing it and we've seen every diet program that there is possible. And we've seen patients try everything underneath the sun. And Todd has always said, it's a brain issue. It's a brain issue. And when people, why do all these diets fail? Why do they fail? Because people go into a starvation mode and just exactly what you explained. And the body is going to say, okay, you're done with that craziness. And I'm going to put some weight back on and then some in case you pull that shenanigan on me again. Yes. You know, yeah. if the body just, I mean, can we change our set point? Absolutely. We, we see it all the time. We see it all the time, but we have to be very methodical about it. You know, the food industry has convinced people that so much of this garbage that people are eating is good for them. And it's just simply not, we must be eating food that God has put on this earth. Dr. Todd would say eat food that God has put on this earth a food that has the ability to rot or spoil rot. and eat it before yes. it does, right? Yes. So if it has a shelf life, okay, we need to avoid that. Now, you know, back to shape's not meant to be a prison sentence. There's got to be wiggle room. There's got to be. I mean, life is all about the gathering. And at every gathering is wonderful food, hopefully. <laughs> I, I love it when I hear families say, Everybody in my family has gone through the program. And when we get together, it's no longer all this garbage. Like yeah. we're eating so much. I know your family is like that in a big way. Oh, yes. They've but come such a, lot of such a long way. And that's what I try to explain to, to patients when they're going through it and they're worried about the gatherings or they're worried about their family. And, and I even had to talk to my, my husband about this too, because when he was around other people, he would have let, he would let their habits influence him. And I said, why don't you let it be the opposite when you don't have to push things on people, but you bring um, the better food. You let people know what you're doing. And sure, at first they may be like, oh yeah, give you the eye roll or whatever. But then they see how good you're looking, how wonderful you're feeling. And then they're asking you, well, what are you doing? And then you get to be the person, you get to be the one to raise everybody up instead That's of right. lowering down to, well, I'm going here, so I'm just going to eat crappy. No, bring the good food right. and you set the tone. And eventually the people around you are going to want to be healthier. They're going to want to be experiencing what you're mm -hmm. experiencing. And you get to raise your family and your friends and the people you love up so that they can be healthy like you are. Right. And what a way to look at it that way instead of being worried about what other people think or inconveniencing people. No, empower people with, with the with the choices that we do have. Absolutely. Well, we, you know, we're all about helping people find the most holistic way to, as we say on our website, you know, return people back to the health they never should have left in the first place. There is just so many life, you know, so many people are suffering with lifestyle diseases and they just think, oh, you know, I'm just getting older or whatever. I've just, it's just a part of it. It doesn't have to be a part of it. No. I mean, of course we're all going to eventually die from something, but we need to just live as healthy as we possibly can. Yes. And, you know, that's our goal. One of the things that, um, you know, when I was talking about um, big pharma and they're the largest spender for TV, for TV ads, right? Um, 
back on uh, July the 15th, I um, get um, email. I'm on the, um, well, I don't know. I'm signed up for the emails from Mike Adams, the health ranger. Uh, Dr. Todd and I have followed Mike Adams forever because this man, he has devoted his whole life on food safety and he fights for food safety and I love that. And on um, July the 15th, he was saying that um, that former President Trump has committed, if he gets elected in November, that um, he's made a commitment to form a commission, to form a commission to investigate Big Pharma and all these dangerous prescription drugs and toxic food ingredients. That, yes. And, you know, all... All during COVID, you know, that craziness, craziness, all during that. Nobody we talked saying, about is anybody talking about building the immune system? Is anybody talking about what we can do to strengthen the immune system? No, everything nobody was, was talking opposite. about that. Everything right. was the opposite and there's of so many great things. That, and we, this country has got our healthcare system is broken. It's right. so broken. We well, have to recognize when other countries, now I love our country, but this whole food industry shenanigans has got yeah. to stop because you can't right. even use glyphosate or Roundup on food in other countries. You can't use right. food dyes in other countries. You can, Why does a label from a manufacturer in the US have toxic garbage for us, but in the Europe, in, in Europe, it's a totally different label where they're not allowed to use the poison. Like it's that crazy. is not okay. And if, if the average American knew this, we could fight against this, but people are oblivious and they're keeping it, um, they're keeping it hidden. So it needs to be uncovered because this is our health and it's literally becoming an industry it's instead an industry. of about our health. And people still yeah. think if it's approved from the FDA, or if they say it's safe or it's this, then it's totally fine. And that's not the case anymore. And we should be wow. able to trust these agencies, which we can't. So we have to become our own health advocates, but we should have some people in in politics, not to make it about politics, but we should have some people who want the best interests of our country and of, of the country of and our citizens. I know I'm so excited. I mean, you know, should he be elected I will just continue praying that he follows through with that right. commitment that because be we need that. We need that now. We need it for future generations because this country, our health has gone to hell in a handbasket. Oh, yes. And, you know, there's not a day go by that we don't have a practitioner call us telling us about a, a patient situation. It's just like, how did, how did we get here? It's, right. just, it's just so crazy. So I... You know, I just want to thank you, Lindsay. You're, you're just out there. You're a strong advocate for holistic health. You're out there to educate. I love that you've got the radio show and that you tackled the big elephant. You tackled yes. it. And we're trying to do that as well. I know Weight Watchers, they used to be a self-responsibility weight loss program. We don't we don't advertise our market shape as a weight loss program, a diet or a weight loss program. We're a total, total health restoration program, but Weight Watchers is now a medical weight loss. And anybody that comes to them, they can just, you know, they can just hook up with a telemedicine and they can get injections shipped right to them and they're, they're injecting themselves. And it, it's just, it just frightens me. The fallout that's going to come from all of this frightens me. And as we have said to our shape practitioners, hold tight, hold tight. Yes. Are, are we losing some people to injections because their medical doctor says this is the way to go? Well, you just wait because they will come back because they're as soon as they stop, they're going to gain the weight back. Their symptoms are going to come back. Well, no their symptoms plus all the symptoms but they've more. experienced from the right. drug. Plus all the extra symptoms and not, right. not any time or energy has spent on helping them understand that food is medicine. They've got to change their relationship with food and embrace a healthier lifestyle. I don't care how 
successful you are with these injections. And there's a lot of, you know, famous people out there that are doing it and they're out there being spokespersons for it. One particular person just, you know, recently wound up in the hospital and they said she had a, she had a stomach flu and I'm like, Oh no, 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 no. They're not yeah. being honest with us. I They're just want to, I just wonder what the long-term effects are going to be of every day, you know, every day that's being in your system and paralyzing your vagus nerve literally i mean all our nerves are important but that's one of the most important nerves right. in the entire body it goes right. just waking up google vagus nerve and see everything it innervates and and you're paralyzing that on a daily basis for months at a time like there's going to be some aftermath there's of- going to be a fallout and and we believe as you know you know if if this is slowing food down and it's just hanging out in the gut and it's not moving out. Well, we've heard of people that have had to have surgery to remove food that couldn't move out of their body. You know, what is it? It's, you know, we make, um, we make the majority of serotonin, which helps us with our emotional state in our gut. And if, yes. if, if we are paralyzing everybody's gut, what is going to happen to everybody emotionally? We've already got a mental already health a crisis. Yeah. 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 And not to mention, like, one of the biggest things uh, that I help my patients who are are older, because I have a passion for anti, well, not, I wouldn't say anti-aging, but aging well. I have a passion mm-hmm. for aging well, health in a healthy, holistic way. Right. And one of the biggest things that I work on with my patients is maintaining muscle mass. Our our muscle is a metabolic organ. And yeah. one of the biggest predictors of how well you're going to age is how well you're able to maintain your muscle mass. So you have to make sure you're eating enough protein and that you're working the protein. But this drug, literally right. the average person loses 30% of their muscle mass. So, and, and you know, some younger people are doing it, some older, but you just aged yourself so fast by breaking down that metabolic organ. And then when you're off the drug, you just lost that part of your metabolism and you're weaker. And how are you going to get that back? You already lose a certain percentage every year, just as you age and you just up your percentage by 30% in this small window. Like you, it's literally some of the worst things you could do for aging while helping your health. You know, I was talking to one of our um, chiropractic physicians in Maine yesterday and uh, she was telling me about a college student that has been using these injections and she's like I think she's like what did, I can't remember was it five months into it or somewhere or maybe that's what you said that your your person was this might have been a little bit longer and she said she literally cannot lift her body up off of the treatment table on her own because her sh- she's lost muscle strength she's lost it and she said i sit down and i beg her i beg her and say you you are are destroying yourself and she's so obsessed Obsessed. with that's what i see too these patients that are coming in on it it becomes an obsession it becomes an obsession very unhealthy become a vanity drug it's if that's what it is i mean it started where it was helping some of these diabetics in the past, but now it's become a vanity drug. And I've heard some practitioners say that um, their patient who was not a type two diabetic have become a type two diabetic. Well, think about it. Think about it. If you are, okay, so you're taking a drug that is in, how does it lower your blood sugar? It lowers your blood sugar by increasing your insulin. So if you start, if you start taking a semi-glutide or ozempic, and you don't have diabetes, right? but you're increasing your insulin, right? you are literally giving yourself insulin resistance. Resistance. So right? You could literally start not diabetic, no insulin resistance, no pre-diabetes, and right. be you know young and whatever. You could literally end taking the drug as a pre-diabetic or potentially a diabetic yeah. because you've been increasing it's your insulin scary. when you didn't need to be and your cells are literally getting resistant to insulin you're giving yourself a metabolic disorder by trying to deal with a metabolic condition it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense but i tell you it's rampant it's it's gone wild and um 
it's we always, got a better way. <laughs> we've got a better way. Shape is a better way. And, you know, I just want to thank you for your boldness to speak out about it. You know, we are doing the best that we can. You know, we've put information on our website and hopefully all of our shape practitioners are having honest conversations with their patients and helping them understand before you try that, try this, right. try this, because right. you're going to wind up right back where you were when you stop right. that. And then you're going to have bigger problems. So let's try this before, but I just want to thank you, Lindsay, you know, it, you know, you're, you're very intelligent and you know, you. you're, you're one that's not willing to shy away from no addressing because you're really passionate we are really want to help passionate. people and when i know there's something that's wor that works like that's yeah. what matters and so i would say not only for anybody who is considering trying ozempic or a semi-glutide to try this first but also for the patients who maybe are already on it and yes. they're very fearful to get off because yes. they're afraid of putting all the weight back on or what's yeah. going to happen we can have a way to transition you off of that because this isn't meant to shame anybody or make anybody feel awful Absolutely. or blame anybody. Absolutely. If that's not what this is about. We're trying to educate because so many people aren't educated and they don't even recognize what they're putting in their body. So if you're listening to this and you know somebody who's on it or maybe you're already on it and you're afraid to get off, know that there's an option to help transition you to create a positive lifestyle and right. help you not put all the weight back on and to heal your body. And that can be an option right. for you as well. Absolutely. Well, we've got, you know, shape practitioners all across the country and people just have to go to our website and, uh, you know, go to find a practitioner and type in their zip code and, and find someone near you. We've got a lot of practitioners. I know, Dr. Lindsay, you work with people remotely and a lot mm -hmm. of our practitioners work with people remotely. Yes. Thanks so much for your time today, Lindsay. I yes. know you're really, really busy. And today was was um, your radio day. So yes. thank you for fitting me into your radio day. And we'll be talking soon. And I just really appreciate so much your time and what you're doing to help educate people. We need, we need more of us in this country. And I'm hoping that I'm just praying that somewhere along the line, our government gets behind really turning this health crisis around and looking at how we can better serve our people and start with younger people and raise up healthier people. Yes, so amen. take care. Talk soon. Thanks. Okay. Love you. you too. Bye.